All right, part two of the Micro MiG 29 plans. Parts are all off of the Ultra Micro P51 Mustang. So we'll do a little recap. When we started, first thing you do with your plans is you're gonna cut out your prop, which was this. Your motor, then we went ahead and cut out the main fuselage, and we made sure we cut at a 45 degree angle all the leading edges. So then we went ahead. And we cut out the main body of the plane. Once you had that done, we went ahead and cut off the KF airfoil. And we traced it on to our another sheet of foam. We got that piece. Then we went ahead and cut off your ailerons, taped them on there. You really ain't got to tape them, you just mark them out with a pen. You cut it. And remember all your all your hinge surfaces are going to be on the top of your plane. Like so. And also that was for the part where we made the punch in the beginning where I punched a hole through. Right there. You could control your Z rods to your ailerons. It's just a little swivel joint. Again all these parts come off the Ultra Micro P51 Mustang. So I'm sure you've dug into it before and know how it all works. All right. So after the ailerons, we went ahead and did our main elevator. Cut it, hinged it. There's your thrust vector nozzle. Then we went ahead and cut out the main body, which would be the canopy. And we did our tail fin, in which we traced this one out and made another one. You need two. You'll see the little cutout for the tail fins. And those will clear for your ailerons. So you still got movement in there. I tried to get the aileron into the prop wash, that's why I brought it so far in. Alright. So moving on. Another next step here. You had to take and trim off. the middle piece of your KF airfoil this is where your fuselage canopy is going to travel through there so now you got two pieces of your KF airfoil show you how I attach this. You can use hot glue gun, CA foam safe glue, 5 minute epoxy. It's all your preference. I'm just going to do a quick little thing here.
So there you have your KF airfoil and your canopy. Just go ahead and hot glue that now. I know you are going to take your time doing it, make it look real nice. You got tail stabilizer fins. I just center them over the aileron, line them up with the body. Again, to get that notch out of there. Of course, before you assemble any of the stuff, if you want to do paint, you would just go ahead and paint before you do any assembly. And I usually use testers or some flat black, some gloss red spray paint. Just tape it off with a painter's tape. Paint my areas that I wanted. Doesn't melt the foam. Alright. There's your basic cutouts for your plans. Now you can go back and once you get all your electronics installed and your motor and your prop, you can cut back some of this extra excess stuff here. I just left it overhang so you can trim it nice. Again, underneath where the KF airfoil meets the prop cutout, you can trim that back. You can see your swivel rod comes up through the bottom, goes up to the top. show you how to install your electronics. There's my AR6400 six channel receiver. A little 1.5 gram servo with a control rod hooked to the swivel one. Make sure you leave, when you hook up your control rod to your tail that you have clearance for everything. Same for the rudders. You want to angle this one up kind of high so it stays out of the way of your aileron movement. Then you can see on the back where I installed the, what are those? the control horns sticking out the back end of the rudders. Two control horns with a control rod connecting both. I always mount the battery on the bottom of my planes when I first build them. That way if your CG's off you can always just move your battery around. And that goes for all the planes I build. And then if you wanted to you could turn around and cut a spot here for your battery. But all my planes I make sure I mount the battery on the bottom with some blue painters tape and then take it out for a flight and make sure I got the CG right before I do any cutting into the canopies. Do a little control surface check here. This particular jet, I got the ram lights on it. So again, there's your aileron movement. Your rudder control, or your elevator control. 
and your rudder. Carbon fiber rod is just some real thin gauge stuff I use. I reinforce it wherever I think I need it. Same for you, you can put it wherever you want. I just take and cut my pieces and CA glue it right to the foam after I paint it. That's pretty much your last step, applying all your carbon fiber rod. And again, the parts you need, the AR6400 six channel receiver, a little eight millimeter motor with motor mount, 1.5 gram servo, swivel horn, four control horns, alright you guys, that about do it, hope you enjoy the build, over and out.